It's the NFL on EA Sports as we are in the inner harbor of Baltimore at M&T Bank Stadium. The two teams emerging from their respective tunnels a minute ago to the approval of this Baltimore crowd. They're all set as their Ravens will match up with the New York Giants. Two teams have met in Super Bowl 35 down in Tampa. The Ravens and Giants are underway. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here we go, here we go. 18 Gator. is Saquon Barkley and right away they're going to stack him up right at the line of scrimmage call it no gain on the game's first play and it's second down now and the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first looking to throw on second down Jones this is Shepard on the catch the reception good for seven it's third down. An early test. Two plays in. This is third and two. From the gun, Jones. It's caught. Shepard. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. First down, Giants. A first down carry for Barkley. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback. And no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Now Saquon Barkley. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. And now off to the races, down the right side. And all the way in, touchdown, New York. Saquon Barkley, 51 yards. As his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Rosas good with the extra point. And it's now a 7-0 game. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. This is taken near the 13. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Here we go, let's bring it. Let's go, let's bring it. Let's bring it. Check it out, please. From the gun, it's Jackson. This will be caught by Brown. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 10 yards there, good enough for a Raven first down. First and 10 at the 43. They'll run for the first time with Mark Ingram. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Call it a loss of two on the play. And it'll be second and 12. At the 40-yard line. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's put him on the buses. Let's put that team on the bus. Check 50, check 50. Operating from the gun, Jackson, and this will be incomplete. He's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw at any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Check 
to throw is Jackson. From the gun, he'll throw. He finds Roberts complete. They give him a gain of 37. I know we love our jobs and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about the big plays. Let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. They run. It's Mark Ingram. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. Now that sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Here's Ingram. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. Going for it all. And this is intercepted, but they'll say out of bounds. Oh, very close to a turnover. They're in the end zone. Credit the Giants' defense that time in pass coverage. Fourth down. And this one is no good. He missed it. And this score will stay right where it is. Boy, you sure don't see that too often. I guess you can't really call anything a gimme, but you figure with his track record, that's a sure thing. But it turns out, it's not the case. Come on, the Giants Six, offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 nothing lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 nothing lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Jones operating from the gun. Gets this out to Saquon Barkley. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Give him 18 there, and the Giants have a first down. Good route, good pickup for first down yardage, and that is a tough one to cover, the angle route, because a running back getting out of the backfield, if you're trying to cover that, especially if you're in the linebacker spot and you're seeing this play develop, he heads out towards the flat first, and that often gets you to overcommit running in that direction. Then he cuts back up inside you into the middle of the field. That's what we just saw there for a nice pickup. And yeah, they'll work this down to the 40-yard line, tackled there. 13 yards, good for a giant first down. One thing's for sure, this defense has to figure out how to stop the ground game. He's eating them up here in the first quarter. It looks like they have to go to different forces, aren't they? The conventional things aren't working too well. So I remember a coach of mine saying way back when, when a back's having a great game, you've got to get the ball out of his hands. See how far he can run without the ball. And what he meant was takeaways, knock it loose, because maybe you can't just stop him with just regular tackling. Throwing on first down, Jones. That's caught by his tight end, Evan Ingram. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. After a pickup of eight, second and two. Well, you talked about the need for them to establish the run early. They've been able to do that here in the first half. And that means that the whole offense has adopted that attitude and that persona. We're going to take care of this young quarterback. Let's all get together and run it and take the pressure off. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. 
Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. They'll try and run for it with Barkley. And he's going to bowl his way into the end zone for a Giants touchdown. Saquon Barkley with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Giants are able to add on to their lead. PAT up and good by Rosas. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. This will be taken about the 12. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything, at least three points get that zero off the board. The last run got six, now second and four. Jackson brought in left side by Sneed. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. A gain of two brings up third and two. Ready? The mic. Forty. The mic. I'll get him. Get him. Get him. Under crush. Under crush. Under crush. Third and two. Here's Jackson. And he's got his man, Marquise Brown. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 43. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. Over the middle here to Brown. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. A big one there for the Ravens. It goes for 18. And just a small glimpse there as to why they like this rookie so much. And that's why they lit up a little bit in our meetings with the coaching staff, didn't Yeah, they? when we talked about him, they did. Yeah, yeah, you know, they like his work ethic. You know, this guy's running every route well in the route tree and getting better at it all the time, really honing his game. They expect a pretty good jump out of him as things continue to move on. They run on first down as they get about three. Second and seven, forthcoming. Grant Haley in on the stop. What's the old expression? Three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. They'll fake the give to Ingram. Now Jackson going to throw deep for the end zone. And that'll be incomplete. Good protection that time, and they couldn't hook up on the long one. Now it's third down. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with it an eyelash. Dropped at the one. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Two minutes to play, first half. It's 14 to nothing. Keep playing. 
Fans, a reminder, I have a note card here that says ad-lib halftime previews. So I guess let's do just that as we'll hand things over to Jonathan. And he will take it in for a Ravens touchdown. Taking it in from a yard out as they are now on the board here in the first half. Justin Tucker for the extra point. And that one makes it 14 to seven. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Fielded about a yard deep. And the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Now, right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Give them a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal... Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. To throw again on second down, Jones will get this out to Barkley complete. Jones now from the gun on third down. That's complete. He's got Barkley out of the backfield. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. On the set. Check 48 the mic. Check the outs, check the outs. From the gun, Jones. They'll complete this to Ingram as tight end. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. His position, and he's listed as a tight end, but he certainly doesn't run like one, and that's what we're seeing more and more coming into the league, those guys who can run, make plays after the catch, and gain that additional yardage. And using that speed there to turn it into a pretty nice little game. Jones heading up here first and 10, and he's 8 for 8 now, throwing the ball to start the game. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Golden Tate, his intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. Actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. Second and ten from the 33-yard line. Here's Jones, throwing again. That's complete to Slayton. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 14. I think it all came together there. In breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Jones now, nearly perfect. Nine of ten in this first half. It's first and ten. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Saquon Barkley on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Giants are able to add on to their lead. And, oh, it's no good on the PAT. So they can't add on here. And our score is going to stay right where it is. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. This will be taken about the 12. And a nifty return there as he's all the way up past the 40-yard line. Any return that gets you to midfield is a great return. One first down, and you're almost in field goal position. Set, 
The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 12 yards to pick up there. Good for a Raven first. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is taken about seven yards deep, and no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never wanted to make something more important than it actually is. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the veteran Antoine Bethea. And they have the football. It will set up shop at the 33-yard line. Brandon, I'm not going to tell him that you called him old in our pregame meeting, but this guy has been around a long time. There's a trick in the book. He knows it. He probably even wrote a few chapters, and this is what he's always had, and that's a nose for the football. He's able to come away here with the interception. They'll run on first down. Barkley, two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, he's looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple yards out of it. Because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. Ready? 10 2 stop. 36. Let's go, tackle. Let's go. We got you. They'll run it again with Barkley. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time. Forces some indecision in the backfield. He's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. The chance of wasting this great starting field position. A real threat. This is third and long. We got four. Hey, box drop, box drop. go. Now Jones, from the gun, he'll throw. Finds his tight end, Ingram. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. So it looks like the offense isn't going anywhere. They're going to go for it on fourth and seven. Jones throwing on fourth down. That's still his running back complete. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the five at the six. Wow, first and goal, and defensively, all they can do is shake their heads. Not only did they allow the conversion, but a big play as well. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Giants are able to add on to their lead. Always important to get the first score of the second half. Now you start to pull away a little bit and get some breathing room going. And now we find out about the fortitude of the group that's behind because they were counting on getting into the game a little bit more, right? Maybe they get the first score. That doesn't happen. It looks almost insurmountable, but it's not. Let's see how hard they play the rest of the game. Roses to add the extra point. And that one pushes the lead up to an even 20. Next 
Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. This will be taken about the 12. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Leonard Williams, the former number six overall pick, got the sack that time. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Check, 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 check. Jackson caught by Snead over the middle they'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down this offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down Jackson from the shotgun. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Alec Ogletree. And they will finally get him, but not until he's all the way down inside the 15-yard line. So their woes on offense continue. That's the second pick thrown here in the third quarter. And we know it was ill-advised, but that was an opportunity to help them get back into the game. Instead, he throws another interception, and now their task is even tougher. On first down, Barkley, and he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Double this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. Operating from the gun, Jones. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. From 10 yards out. And the Giants use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. CD, it seemed like they were so focused on the guys out wide, they forgot about him out of the backfield. That's a really good point because you've got to communicate. And oftentimes when you start counting receivers, that's exactly what you do. You start from the widest receiver, work your way inside. Who gets lost sometimes? The back in the backfield. That's exactly what happened there. And he got into the end zone. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. They are right now just ice cold. I mean, they have struggled big time in this game, and they're getting blown out. How do they adjust? So tough because we always talk about it being a team game and you need all 11 working well together. But every now and then, partner, you need that one guy who can make a play against all odds that maybe can ignite things. And I think that's what they're looking for right now. Yeah, you talk about going to your playmakers. They probably need to do it. Find someone that you're used to touching the football that makes big plays and give them that opportunity to maybe wake up everyone else. On second and seven. Jackson. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off at the 38. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Giants touchdown. And a great return as they're finally able to take him down. 
This D wanted to put it away before we even get to the fourth quarter, widening that margin a bit further. And while they won't just empty the bench just yet, if you're a backup, start loosening up. I think you'll get a chance to play before this one is over now with that type of a cushion. This will be taken about the 12. And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And fresh off the pick six. They've got to forget about that quickly. In this case now, the guy throwing the ball, he's got to be like what we talk about with defensive backs who get beat for a long touchdown. Short-term memory, right back out there doing the things that he does best and knowing that taking care of the ball is paramount. Here's his opportunity. It all comes back to those defensive backs for the formal D, former DB, right? I don't know where that comes from. It yeah. just kind of emerges out of me for some reason. It's deep in there, right? <laughs> and they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. Now it's Jackson. That's caught by the former Sooner, Mark Andrews. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. The Ravens get a new set of downs, give him 17 on that pickup. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. I want to go back to something you said in the first quarter. Is, about it, winning. is, is it a positive? It is a positive. Okay. Well, about winning the turnover battle. As a visiting <laughs> team, as an underdog, you were right. They've done just that, and look where it's gotten them. It's part of the formula. When you go on the road, as you mentioned, being an underdog, winning the turnover battle is a big key, and this one's playing out in this one. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. The Ravens on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This is third and ten. I'm coming after you. Check safety, check safety. Again, Jackson. And that will be incomplete. Another pass attempt, another incompletion, and they're just a little over 100 yards passing here in this game, so defensively, pretty good job. Definitely, because they were never really able to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers. So a lot of credit to the defensive game plan, and especially the execution. On is the punter, Cook, who sends it away. And problem spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And this game comfortably in hand. The scoreboard speaks for itself, but you still got your starting quarterback out there. When do you go to the backup, let him get some time? And that's one of the great questions in the NFL, Brandon, because I'm just going to tell you, in the 2015 season, I commentated on three games in a row that were blowouts. And in none of them did the starting quarterback ever come out of the game for the team to have a big lead. And in each instance, I asked the coaches later on, why didn't you do that? And they all looked at me and said, just don't really do that in the NFL. We, you know, these guys play, and we just play them all the way through. Now, in certain situations, they will take them out. But for the most part, they're not as worried and concerned about getting them out of the game. And that's always puzzled me a little bit. The Giants on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This will be third and five. Now it's Barkley. And it would appear he's going to be short of a first down as he stopped right around the 29. Call it a gain of four, and it'll bring up fourth down. So they'll run for it with Barkley. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. First down, Giants. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Nightmare, son. You're going to see me and you're not. 22 Jeff Bomber. 22 Jeff Bomber. 
Jones now operating from the go. It's hauled in by Shepard. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. in a great spot way down in Baltimore territory. A tremendous play there from Saquon Barkley. 49 yards on the ground. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. A first carry for the Clemson man, Wayne Goldman. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. I know you're trying to wring every yard out of a run, but I think nine yards there is ideal in this situation. Yeah, now next couple plays, you only need one yard. Keep that clock rolling with a lead here in the fourth. Yeah, what you're saying is maybe if it takes you one or two more runs to get the first down, that's extra time, extra plays. Really hurts the team on defense. On, the last run playing. got nine. That leaves them with second Strong and a yard. Right. Right. A gift to Barkley out of the gun. And yeah, this is not going to do it as he stopped at the two-yard line. Not enough there for a first. No gain, as a matter of fact. And it leaves them at third and one. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They only got two, but that was enough as they'll convert to make it first and goal. And this will probably be the final play before the two-minute warning. And Barkley will try to punch it in. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Is it okay if I break one of our rules, partner, which is to never call a game over until it's over? Because this certainly feels like it's over after that drive. Yeah, that was spirit crushing, wasn't it? And now you, can, you just kind of felt the air go out of the balloon. Yeah, they were fighting so hard to stay in there. And they knew they had to stop them on that drive. But when they were unable to, I think you're exactly right. You can see them sag on their sideline. And I think this one might just be over. This is taken near the 13. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. We and we are inside of two minutes left in this lopsided affair. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. The drive starts here with a carry by Ingram. And he'll slip his way up across the 30 to the 32. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time he might actually pop one of these runs. The bottom line is he takes care of the ball well for them, so they'll keep handing it to him. On third down, Mark Ingram. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. This will be a two-yard loss on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. So they're going to come to the line here, and it appears try to go for it on fourth. They'll try and throw for it with Jackson. And this is incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Giants are going to take over in great field position. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. He's not going to get me. Get it. They'll run with Barkley. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. He's tackled at the 
They'll go to Barkley again. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. It's a six-yard run. Leaves him with about a foot or so here still to go to hit the marker with third down coming up. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. From Baltimore, so long, everybody.